G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're back in our Mega City series where it's still raining and still pouring, but this old man is no longer snoring. I have a big raid uh, planned for today, a big and bold raid, which after last night's endeavours, probably not the best idea, but gotta risk it for that Tim Tam biscuit. So today, I'm gonna head out to this POI just here, the Red Massa Missile Silo Base. A pretty serious raid, it's not going to be easy by any stretch, but if I take on harder challenges, th surely the gods at some point will reward me with some decent loot to match that. So that's the dream. I'm putting it all on the line, <laughs> only to be let down again, I'm sure. Uh, I've got a decent amount of ammo on me. Is there any extras I can take with me before I go? Chuck you onto there. Any extra 9mm? I'm a little bit low on 9mm, actually, which does make me feel especially fantastic, but just gonna have to do it. No use sitting here twiddling your thumbs. Get out there and get it done. This is the joint just here. The cheeky missile base on the outskirts of town, surrounded by a stupid amount of landmines, but I've definitely read the book that means that I can teabag every last one of these bloody things and not have any issues at all. If I get into some strife, maybe I just like boot myself across this ditch here and let the mines take care of all of the zombies that are coming for me. Though I probably shouldn't be tempting fate quite that much. The last thing you need to do is bear your ass cheeks and moon the gods of seven days because they will take you to town with barely an invitation. Oh man. Oh, so apparently Arlene's read the book as well because she just wandered through there and licked all the fuses and nothing bloody happened to her. I'm not sure whether to be impressed or jealous. Arlene's just, you know, just, just doing her work and getting away with it. Well, nothing for it. The sun's up and time is ticking and the horde is what? A few days away now, but it's definitely no time for me to resting on my rather depressing amount of laurels. Not very many at all, barely even a twig. But I shouldn't be rushing this. I really shouldn't be rushing this. I came here earlier, it's got plenty of time. The last thing I need to do now is fluff this, get everyone angry at me and have a battle in the landmines outside. Oh, God. Oh, man. That didn't just make my heart skip a beat. That bloody jolted into a completely different rhythm. Who needs easy to access defus who can jump scare the fuck out of every now and again? Oh, bloody dingoes out here causing me dramas. That's a tough pill. I'm not sure I can hit that. I'll try, though. Let's aim up a little bit. I'd rather hit him in the head than the ankle. Oh, let me get over there, spoon up the remnants of your brainstem, put it in a pot and call it fucking salsa. Oh, then just smear every orifice I have with that hotness. Hit you as well. Right in the side of the noggin. Oh, man. Joshy boy learned how to aim a crossbow. Everyone's in strife now. The bodies are unfortunately well gone, so I can't even come over here and dip my chips well into your gaping esophagus and see how you like it. That's fine. I'll just have to live with the memory, but for once in my life, I was actually good at this game. I'll remember that we're getting torn limb from limb in not too long. Uh, no one else up here. Someone has woken up outside the building, though. How do those guys get across the bloody landmines, then? I don't want to go down there just yet, but I had to struggle <laughs> to avoid landmines at the best of times. You guys are walking around kicking buckets and getting away with it. I've got this vulture circling me, which is pretty interesting given there's a lot of bodies around here you could go and gnaw on to your heart's content. But look, there's one right there that doesn't currently have warm blood still pursing through it. Anyone actually up here? Please don't be any. There's a vulture I killed before. That's fine. I'll grab my bolt back out of you. Nah, and no one. All right, that's fine with me. Ooh, cheeky box. That's extra fine with me. Pop you open. Pop on the old loot and specs and see what we've got. What's my loot stage here, actually? Only 146? That's not really anywhere near as high as I thought it would be. And disappointing loot to go with it. I thought this place would be dripping with loot stage. From memory, and it's been a long time since I raided a Red Mesa. Um, from memory, I'm pretty sure this bunker here is just chock a block. Yeah, full of air, all of the nightmares in the world. So if I can just prop myself up on the wall here and completely whiff the shot. Oh, wake up a lot of people. All right, you guys just run about for a little bit. I'm going to murder your friends. What? How did that miss? Excuse me. Just hold on. Right. There. There we go. That's a bit better. If I can murder these guys before they come for me later, that's going to serve me very good. Barely a sentence, but you know what I mean. Uh, can I make this easier? Can I get up? Come on. Up. No. How about this then? 
How about that kind of up? There we go. When in doubt, chuck a ladder down. You guys coming up to meet me? Oh, okay. I mean, that's fine. You guys have better block damage than I'll ever have. You're more than welcome to do the hard work. How? How are all these guys just getting straight through the landmines? You guys' defenses suck. No wonder you all got turned into zombies. Desperate times, desperate measures and all that. I've decided to help the zombies. It might seem counterintuitive, but it also gives me an access route or an escape route when I'm in there later on. There we go. Open it up, please. I'm ready and waiting for you. <laughs> Just a coupler. Just a cheeky coupler coming over for brunch. Well, listen, you didn't RSVP this many, so you're going to have to wait in line. But I'll serve you up a pot of death to all of you. I think they're all good and dead. Old mate can barely believe it. Shaking his head in disbelief, but that's fine. Not my problem. Quickly murder you as well. Shit shooting Josh. In fact, I probably shouldn't be using the SMG for all of this. My 9mm ammo is not what it once was. Use the magnum where I can. Even if we're loud, the shit house buddy minefield might save my life. Right, okay. Now that that's all done, I can go and actually raid the building properly. Did I miss anyone else in here? No, I think everyone's dead. All right, that's the end of the POI. Let's go through the start. I see some more boxes, which is always a good time. And some army trucks as well, which often have some decent gubs inside them. Oh, damn it. Speaking of gubs inside them, come and get my machete inside of you. Wait for the bonk. A bit closer. There you go. Bonk. Stab. Oh, there's two. Never mind. Get your fucking... I changed my gun. I changed my gun and the game was like, nah, mate, have another swing of the machete. When I say, please pull out your machine gun, probably pull out the freaking machine gun. It's kind of important. Just going to skirt around the edges as much as I can. There you are. Man, that like super duper jump that I have with the parkour skill plus the book that means that crouch jumping gets the same height as a normal jump means I can really hop a roo around most of the obstacles here. Someone just died outside, but someone died inside as well. There's explosions happening everywhere, whether it be landmine or brainstem. No one else, I don't think. Grab my bolt back out of you. It's a little bit goopy, but... Oh no, it's completely gone. Never mind then. Speaking of goopy, just waded balls deep through that corpse. Anyone else? Or is this room clear? There's lots of things I want to loot. I just can't do it when there's zombies. All around? Is that a corpse or a white? Corpse. Okay, it looks too similar. How do you tell from distance? I've cleared this place up until this next door, which means I should have enough time to go back and raid the other building. Chuck the loot and specs on. I'll take the honey. Recog might help at some point, actually. This range damage, even if I take that and use it for the horde, that would probably be pretty smart cricket. More 9mm ammo. Thank you very much. Tier 5 booty boys. That are better than my tier 6. Not by much, only by 0.2, but even so, there should never be a time when a tier 5 is better than a tier 6, especially for, like, the top tier loot, whether it be steel or military or whatever. That shouldn't be a thing. There should be a, a given how rare tier 6 stuff is and you can't make it, there should be a noticeable gap between a tier 5 and tier 6. But that's just me. But, it, you know, I'm, I've been pretty vocal about my disgruntlement, if that's a word, about how some of the loot stages work out. Anyway, whatever, we'll try and put that behind us and move on. In fact, I'll just scrap you to remove temptation. Scrap all of that as well for the iron. I wouldn't mind some extra steel bolts as well if you could just chop out. No, I don't need steel sledgehammer parts. I've had so much of those. I never need them, never want them. What I do want though is 4x4 or a gyro. Give me the goodness. No, oh, damn it. On to the next room, which I think is pretty close to the missile silos. Oh, that looks ominous. Very ominous. That's all right, though. As long as you catch it before they beat out of there and charge you down, you're usually okay. No one else hiding in there with you? No, you're just on your lonesome. Man, it must have been a great game of hide and seek when the apocalypse happened. I bet you heard the screams were secretly chuckling to yourself. I mean, listen, winning hide and seek is nothing better. Yeah, there we go. There's one of the nukes still safely nestled in its little silo home. That's just a pile of trash and not a zombie. Skirt around the outside here and see if I can see anyone else. I, I don't remember how this POI is actually laid out now. I remember how it used to be back in like Alpha 18, maybe even 19, but I don't remember what it is now. I, I just want to go like, bink. <laughs> just really make short work this POI. Sure, I'd go down with it, but so would everyone else. There's a lot of little like zombie hidey holes all around the place. If I can open them up now, when I get down there later on, it should make my life a bit more safe. 
Oh, there's like these sharp corners, these close corners. Always, oh God, always make you nervous. Damn it, sat you down, it didn't kill you. That'll work, that'll work. Caught you on the way through and caught you again on the deck. Oh, so scary. When you can't see your peripherals, it just feels like the whole world's coming to kill you. That's why I wanted to open up those zombie closets so I can see them from a long way away and make nice, easy work of them. That is not what I intended, even a... Fuck! Even a little bloody bit. Uh, right. I would like to not be here, please. Can I just real quick just pretend that never happened and build my way back up to where I left off? Like that. Go all the way back to the top. In fact, I'll pick up these behind me so that I don't accidentally let some zombies follow me away. That was not your best moment, Josh. That almost got real pear-shaped real quick and not in any sort of a good way. There we go. Back up where I meant to be. I'll take all those frames back. Disposable ladders. Super bloody handy. Grab that crossbow bolt back out of you as well. No one else waiting for me. We can continue on like that little episode of Muppetry never bloody happened. Oh, man. My, um... My heart does not feel good now. I feel very stressed and very fortunate to not have landed inside a zombie's face. Oh, in the end, it doesn't actually matter because I'm now down back where I left off a second ago anyway. But, I don't know. Those death traps always get me nervous. Okay, what is around? That's a random little venti boy there that's probably hiding something. I was wrong. That was heckin' bloody loud, though. I should clear the area of zombies before I start getting my uh, Sherlock Holmes on. What a cool looking rocket though. I love some of the like, the designs that uh, the fun pimps come up with, with the limited amount of blocks available to them. It always impresses me when it's something cool like that. Just squeeze our noggins through this rather suspect looking opening, but hopefully it's okay on the other side. I can still see you, although is that... I know chairs are bulletproof, but uh... Water, uh, uh, water towers? Water coolers, whatever you want to call them? Something's bulletproof. Something should have hit something in there, but I guess nah, mates. Oh, they're not actually zombies. They're just painted the exercise bikes to look like them. Clever. Just by disguising and adding objects as things I want to kill. Clever girl. I've got quite the bad feeling about this. Like I'm freaking Lydia in Skyrim. I'm just going to pull out the SMG and just spray if I need to. Oh, hey bud. Mind the chair. Apparently the chair didn't catch that one, which I'm grateful for. Put it burning your head in the sand to avoid something you didn't want to do, but burning it between your shoulders? Man, you're like one of the imps in Doom that just got his knock and squashed by the Doom Marine. Are you guarding zombies? I would have, are they in the cubicles? This is too quiet. I can't see any feet of poopers. I can hear the rattle of zombies, but I can't see the zombies. I don't like it when they're not here. They should be here. Where are they all? I'm, I'm on edge. All right. Well, there's one. That makes me feel a little bit better. Quickly hit you. This is why I've talked about this before. Like going stealthy means you might end up just walking past zombies. Then they're behind you when you least bloody expect it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go like this. Close that. And get pretty loud with it. And just try and wake anyone up who might be lurking in the shadows. Just to make sure there's no one lurking behind. No, I think we're okay. All right, nice. But also, yeah, there is still the secret passage behind here. Haven't forgotten that. That's still there for the taking. Loot and specs on. <gasps> yes! Yes! Finally! Finally, the freaking Dolce schematic! Oh, you have no idea how long I've been looking for you. The secret package is the second most exciting thing about that. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Gotta get home and craft that smooth looking handle to caress with me hand. Oh, I've never been so excited to have something in me mitts. Before I go looking through the walls over here through all of the crawl space to find what repercussions are waiting for me, there's no way the game gives me that after all this time begging for it. There's no way the game gives me that without a lot of nightmares to follow up on it. You know, this is how the game works. It gives you a little bit of hope, a little bit of luxury, then immediately kicks you directly in the gooch. 
So I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen to me. That series isn't finished yet. That's fine. Lots of other bookcases for me though. Already know that recipe. Already know that book. Oh man, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I I thought it was over. I didn't think I was ever going to find that bloody thing because that's just how it crumbles sometimes. Oh, I'm over the freaking moon. Now is as good a time as any. It's 1 p.m. God, the time really ticks away in this place heck and bloody quickly. Pull the SMG back out. That's like a little teaser hole. Uh, wait, is this where I'm supposed to be? Is that like a shortcut I just took? There's... This is different to how I remembered it. I thought it took me to like... A little like secret kind of stairwell that had a loot room along the way. Oh, that's a big spike of lag. Which means there's probably some zombies around here somewhere. Uh, oh, I've already been through there. I'm not actually sure. There's some good loot around. Are you hiding something fun? Are you cheeky deeky? You made out of stone. All right, you've piqued my interest now. I know there's loot around, but I have to make sure my surroundings are solid before I get distracted with that. All right, nope, guess, guess there's nothing there. All right, that's fine with me then. I've still got my loot and specs on from before. Medium ammo pile, still bolt heads. Thank you very much. I'll scrap the shotgun ammo, but take that with me. Oh, I'm so excited now. So in two days, after so much yearning and wanting and wishing that I would find something, after <laughs> a long time, just kind of giving up hope, in two days, we managed to get the machete schematic. Oh. Uh, fuck it all right then. We've managed to get this uh, machete schematic and the Dolce schematic. So if I have enough time tonight, whether I do or don't, I'm going to try and do it. I need to go to one of my homes, find all the parts I've left behind and make myself that goodness. Oh, I'm stoked. I am bleeding stoked with that. Can I open this door? No, I can't. Does that go back inside the missile silo? I think it might actually. I think that's kind of where it's headed. Loot and Gog still on. Machete parts. You're going to get put to use before long there, Big Chief. Don't you bloody worry about it. All right. I think this area is done. I'll go back out from whence I came so I don't miss anything. Because if there's good loot to be found, I would be remiss if I just skipped over it to try and get out of here nice and quick. So much more gubbins to be found. You're not hiding anything. That's all good. Got a bunch of random gubbins on me too, actually. I'll turn that into duct tape. Anything else I can get rid of? Not really. Drink the coffee, because after getting so excited, I've sweated out with all my excitements. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're not over yet. Is there something at the top of this ladder here, or is that where I'm supposed to go eventually? I feel like it's kind of camouflaged over here. Oh, no, it goes to a dead end, so maybe I could have come this way and found some extra cheeky gubbins. Don't mind if I just got to say, it's odd to have a ladder like that that's kind of hidden away and not really where you're supposed to be going. My gut feeling was right. Let me just call loot. I mean, it could have been cool loot. Turned out to just be a relatively disappointing weapons bag, but it happens to the best of us. Oh, we're back on the entry level. All right, well, let's brace up and go deeper. We're going this way. Check for any medical supplies. More aloe cream. I'll grab you. I'll turn all that into first aid bandos. I'm telling you, this is why I was so excited when I found that recipe. Be able to make your own first aid bandos. Game changer. I'm back to just creeping around. I got bold for a little bit there. It almost cost me dearly. So now I'm back to being about as quiet as a mouse before Santa Claus comes down the chimney. Grab you. No, can't get my bolt back. Any more lurking in the corners. They're always like, <laughs> I don't know who came through after the apocalypse and positioned zombies ever so perfectly that they were always just out of view from whatever door was left unlocked. Someone's out there causing a ruckus. I'm not really sure I could be particularly mad at them about it because they've done a good job. XP Gog's back on. Uh, do I need this stuff? No, I don't have the inventory space for it right now. Plus, I'm more concerned with just staying alive for the moment. There's half this bloody place is still left ready to kill me. I'm having flashbacks to this place a long time ago and it being a really bad battle, like with rads and stuff. So I might just keep the SMG out for the moment. Yeah, I've been here before. I don't remember when or how or why or how it ended up, but I know that I've been here before. Grab what I can. I'm a little bit peckish, so slurp down some juicy, juicy fish. Can't imagine a can of fish left unrefrigerated for this long would be that appetizing, but I'm going to go for it anyway. We'll take a cheeky froth in case I do manage to get away with this relatively unscathed. If my stomach can handle it, I'll put some suds in it before long. Nothing else there. Grab this stuff too. Hmm, yeah, okay. Not a lot. Not a lot, but enough. 
Oh, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this at all. This is one of those times where I'm like, maybe I should just wake up the world so I know what's coming for me. But if it's going to be a big battle, if I get some stealth kills, that'll be really good for me. There's one. It's a long pill, but I back myself. Good shots. Who else is here? They're all lurking somewhere I know. I just got to find them. Oh, God. See? Rads. What did I bloody tell ya? Lucky I got the drop on ya. Get spanked, Jigglypuff. You too, Arlene. There's gotta be more in the kitchen, I reckon. Oh, no. Okay. I was- I definitely thought there would be more, but all right, I guess we're all right. Check the corners. No, we're all- we're all fine. Oh, 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 wait on. Sorry, Achilles. I saw you poking your toesies out, and even though it caught my attention, I promise I'm not into that. Check all of this while I'm here. I think I've done a pretty good job of clearing the joint out that I can't hear any murmuring anymore, so I think I'm safe. Oh, that's that vent from before. That's where I jumped up on the rafters and it took me out to here. Maybe that's an inn then? Maybe that's where I should have gone in to get that weapons bag that was up the top. Oh, well, I found my own way of doing things and it worked out just as well. God, it's already five o'clock. The day is going so quickly. I came here first thing in the morning, and I still barely have enough time to get the job done. Pushing on to the next room, it's like the control room for all the nukes from before. I probably could go without the headlight. Ooh, g'day, buddy boy. Without the headlight right now, let's take a big step back. Use the shovel for the extra reach. Pop that. Creep on over. Pop that. There we go. All right, the bulletproof glass is one thing. If we can get around it, we'll manage... Who else? Who else is out here? Definitely wasn't just that Muppet. He definitely had friends. Where are you all lurking? Oh, I see some movement behind that door. Quickly open you up. It's just another... Hazmat zombie. Take the quick shot before his friend gets here. Damn it. Completely whiff it. Where are you going? You coming through the window? Or are you going to the wall? Where is your sweat dripping down? I don't think I actually want to know. Come on. Come on. <laughs> For your super duper zombie AI, it doesn't always work out so well, does it? Oh! Maybe you didn't have it at all because your brains were made of jelly! That's worth a cheeky dip! We've surely got to be somewhere near the end of it now. I'm itching. I'm itching and not because of the usual reason. It's been a long time since I could blow- Oh god! Since I could blame Arlene for that, but I am desperate to get home and make myself the, uh, the machete and the dolce. The Magnum. I've been ruining having to use it for so long and it's about to be gone because a suppressed Dolce, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, here we go. I think this is the end of it. I think this is where it's all going to come down to my good work earlier. Remember when I murdered all those Muppets through the bunker walls when I first got to this POI? Because like, oh, this seems bad. I'm not sure I want to do this. That is where I'm coming up to now, I think. There's likely a couple of them left over, but there shouldn't be that many. If you think about how many, like, soldiers and, uh, hazmat zombies and stuff like that were in that building. Imagine trying to take them on in close quarters. It'd be a really bad time. Yeah, up there. We're almost done. We're almost out of here. Couple left over. Quickly hit you. I think that might have been the last one. Oh, we're almost out into the fresh air again. I'm so excited. Oh, how you doing too? Tier 5 military leg armor, which are better than my current tier 4s. Yes, please. Give me all of you. Smack you on my thunder thighs. These tree trunks need protection from the zombies. Nice. Look at that. That's what it should be for every level. A full almost two po oh, 1.3 points. Chuck you on. Scrap you. Cheers for your service. Probably stretched and threadbare, but that's fine. I'm not sorry for it. Oh, man. What a good raid this has been. This has paid off dividends. Make sure my SMG is out in case there is anyone left over in here, though I don't think there'll be many, if at all. Nah, we're all done. All done. Nice and quietly sorted. There was... Didn't one of these things on the outskirts have a secret tunnel underneath it that led to, like, a loot room? Did I miss a loot room somewhere? I think I may have. I think I may well have... I might have to go exploring in a second, but more importantly, I have a lot of inventory space left over, but whatever. I'll turn you all into frames. Piss that off. Uh, scrap you. Just kind of like, um, not amalgamate. You know, I try to like get everything into its own little places that it needs to be. It's a really weird way of trying to talk around that, but either way, what don't I need in here? Can scrap you. Probably going to eat in you, but that's fine. Um, and not really much else. I'm pretty much good. I broke a lot of lockpicks, but we're finally in and ready to go. 
Whilst my loot stage again, still 146, still lower than I thought it would be, but you're just going to have to work with that. Scrap you for the lead. Don't need steel club parts, but thank you. Anyway, I said I don't need steel club parts. If I say no, stop insisting. I'll take all of that. I'll chuck that magazine extender in my dolcha when I get it. Take all of you as well. So far, so good. Crucible schematic. Ooh, art of mining. Blackstrap coffee. Super strong coffee. Not the end of the series, though, but that's fine. I will... So I need the small tank mod, so I'll scrap you. I'll take the rest of that with me. You're all done. Didn't even pop the boxes yet, though. Too busy fondling some locks. Anything in you. Scrap that. Take both of those ones. More steel spear parts, which is pretty insistent on. Take all of you. And that's it. That's all she wrote. We're done. We're good. I'll go and chuck some, some of this stuff into my bike. There was definitely something else, though, wasn't there? One of these things harbors a secret passage. Which one was it? Oh. Okay, well, it wasn't that one. There's one more around this side. I have a very distinct memory. Well, there's nothing here to come out of either. Um, okay. I have a very distinct memory of, like, popping up out of events on the outside of the walls. Is that a different POI or have I changed that to Alpha 20? Because I don't know which version of, the, of what POI it was, but... All right, well, I guess there's nothing here. Never mind then. Plus, the sun is going down. So let's quickly go. We'll head back to the cathedral. Grab whatever parts are valuable that we can. And I head back to the, the town hall in the desert, I think. I think that's where I took most of my supplies, most of my parts, before the last Horde night. So I took most of my valuable things there. So if I ever got the opportunity to craft things later on, like military parts and stuff as well. So, yeah. I'll head over there, and I should be able to... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about your knee there, buddy boy. I don't think it's supposed to bend that way. But head back there. I can get the Dolch on the craft. I can get the machete on the craft. Then sit back and relax and just enjoy the feeling of success I'm having for a change. What a raid. What a good choice. Finally got the just dessert. God, do I love dessert. Grab all the stuff I need. The regular supplies that I can use for crafting lots of things. I'm going to go back to the apartment building, actually, and get some more ammo crafting going on. Uh, I'll take you. I can smelt that down into brass. So nothing... I shouldn't really be overlooking that, that's for sure. Uh, anything else around? There's some food and water. I can leave that behind. That's all good. Take those ammo materials and the bullets. What level was my tearing at the moment? I'm not sure. I'll take you with me just in case. The Babel back and stay there and keep nice and safe and sound. And we're good. We're good to go. All right. Nice. I, um, I'm just really excited to make the Dolcha. I know it might seem daft. Carry it on like a sizzle and pork chop. But I'm telling you, I've wanted that thing for so long. The Magnum has so many drawbacks that I just can't be arsed dealing with. And the Dolcha fixes all of those. It kicks all the zombies in the teeth and does it consistently and consecutively. And I, just, I just can't. I just, I just can't properly describe how excited I am to finally have it. It's after dark, but not even the nightmares of the zombie apocalypse can rain on my parade right now. Oi! Old mate tried, which is pretty... You know what? Pretty rude, but if I'm gonna get rid of the Magnum, may as well put it to its paces one last time. Sit you down. Arlene. Oh, caught that right in the chin. You gonna have one round left? Yeah, I did. I'm not gonna use it. That's all. Oh, God! Maybe I'm gonna use it. No, stop. I said no one could rain on my parade. It literally started raining both zombies and from the sky. You can try. You can try. That's like me saying, you know, it can't get any worse. And immediately a thunderstorm starts. Like I've just yeeted myself off a Spanish galleon heading to El Dorado. But I do not care. Give me you. Grab all that. Take all this upstairs with me. Oh, man. I've never been so excited to take something upstairs. You wouldn't even believe. Before I get cracking, I'll grab my extra bolts out of there. Open you. Don't have a lot of steel crossbow bolts. So definitely not something to be sneezed at. When I can make more, I should make more. Okay, right. Tools and mods is which my parts should be. Yep, there's a shitload of machete parts, a shitload of pistol parts. It's finally fucking happening. It's finally fucking happening, lads, and I'm just so keen as a lima bean. Fuck yeah. What do you need for the desert vulture? Colloquially known as the dolcha, because it's not a deagle, definitely a dolcha. Uh, right, so I need forged steel. Fuck. I need a lot of forged steel. Of which I don't have. Shit! Oh, I've got to go back to the bloody... I'll go back to the apartment building and craft up a bunch of steel. Oh, we're still so far away from getting it done. Duct tape, polymers. Polymers. Duct tape and springs. 
Don't have springs either. Okay, so we're lacking a little bit on the on the Dolce stuff. What about the Shetty? Machete. Need more forged steel. Wood, leather, duct tape. Right, okay. I'm going to need to grab what I can and head out first in the morning morning. Then go back to the apartment building and get what I need. We're so close. I can almost feel it. While I'm thinking about it, actually, I'll grab the ski goggles. Because if I whack you on real quick, where you... I don't have any skill points to spend, but that does give me 10 out of 10 agility. So the next points can go into like one of these things. Now the question is, even though it doesn't give me an extra level of uh, crafting ability, like that stops at tier four. Yeah, craft quality five great handguns. I don't get an extra level for maxing it out, but does that give me potentially better stats on what I craft? Is that a thing? I'm not sure. It seems like it would kind of make sense, but I don't think I'm going to wait around to do it. I just want the guns, so I'll keep my ski goggles on me from now on. I've got the materials I need to make what I need. I just need to go and find some more of them. Oh, what a day. What a big day it's been. I'm exhausted, but fuck me, am I satisfied? It's time for a nap. Well, guys, with that, I guess I'm going to have to leave this here. All I can think about, I'm obsessing over the Dolce and the Shetty. So tomorrow, I'll head out first thing. I'll go up, and I'll go to the apartment building and craft those bad boys up. And I might need to, now that I have a like, decent weapon, I'm going to have like tier 5 Dolce, a tier 5 Shetty, tier 5 SMG. So, like, raiding and looting, the chances of, of bettering that, is pretty slim. And even then, you just know if I find a tier 6 SMG or something, it's going to be worse than my tier 5. Because fuck me, that's why. But it means I'm kind of have to start focusing on just the horde base stuff. I still need to do some repairs on the base. I need more steel as well to upgrade the more sensitive parts. Also to find a way to incorporate Sammy, redo my electricity and stuff. So there's lots of things I have to do probably over the next couple of days. Because when's the next horde? 56. So I've got 54, 55, 56. I've got three more days before the horde. Bit of a question mark on that one. It's a little bit how you're going. But I'm going to have to come back and see how it's going in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching, most of all. Thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.